so I got quite a few messages requesting me make a video because Tana Mojo's ex-boyfriend, Brad Sosa, AKA fake Justin Bieber, just had an entire exposed documentary made about him by his former editor, Otto. And right now the internet and Tana Mojo herself are rejoicing, but this might not be the good thing that we all think it is. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. Because oh my God, if you're watching this and you're not learning from this, Ah, ho, 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 ho. you need to do something about that. So if you like to learn lessons about life and all that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So anyways, uh, before I get started real quick, because we are gonna be talking about cancel culture and your reputation and all that stuff, um, real quick announcement, until the end of the month, for those of you who don't know, my brand new book, Canceled, is available now. And until the end of the month, you can get a free copy of the ebook pinned down in the pinned comment as well as in the description below. All right, I take a deep dive into YouTube cancel culture, my own experience as well as the experience of some others. Tana Mojo was actually mentioned in the book a few times in some of the situations that she's been in. All right, so anyways, yeah, uh, Brad Sosa's editor, Otto, um, and I guess they were friends too, they, uh, yeah, they parted ways and I first was introduced to Otto like many other people when I saw his last video where he like pretty much stole Brad Sosa's uh, plaque, right? And everybody's like, yeah, get him. So don't get me wrong, Brad Sosa is, mm, he's a D-bag. And I made a couple videos just when Tana was going through that breakup and found out she was cheated on. So if you wanna check that out, like I, I feel really, really bad from, for Tana. So we're gonna be talking about Tana, but then we're also gonna be talking about the Brad Sosa and Otto situation. So the first thing that we need to talk about and see what we can learn from it, like, even though like I'm not like a massive like Tana Mojo fan, like I feel for that girl. Like this, this whole video that came out with Otto showing the DMs and everything like that, like I feel bad for her. Like this is something that I think a lot of people who have something to offer have to deal with, right? Like for example, like we're talking about Tana Mojo who has a massive following on YouTube and Instagram and she's, you know, all this stuff, right? But also for some of you out there, like maybe you come from a rich family, maybe you have something, you right? Like us having to worry about like, is this person only dating me for this? Or are my friends only hanging out with me for that? Like maybe you're the friend who always buys, you know, rounds at the bar or you buy people stuff or whatever it is, right? And we always have to worry about like, are we being used? Does this person, actually like me and it's difficult because trust me i grew up and i had a lot of trust issues and i've been screwed over many a times so those trust issues have gotten even worse but i've had to learn how to manage them because i can't just close myself off and isolate from the world right so part of what we need to start doing is just doing our best to be a better judge of character like something that auto talks about in his video is like noticing the red flags right because when you get screwed over, especially if you're cheated on or something like that, it's easy to start thinking that everybody in the world is a bad person. And that is a lie that our brain's telling us. It's a lie that our brain's telling us to try to protect us from being hurt again in the future. But again, it can block us off for the, from the rest of the world. So what's helped me immensely is just trying to be a better judge of character and I still have screwed up in the past. Like my girlfriend makes fun of me because like I am very friendly and if someone's like, cool and nice to me like I open up to them and stuff so I've been trying to manage that because it's bitten me in the butt in the past right so anyways um yeah like the most we can do is just try to heal from it and move forward in regards to like Tana Mojo specifically I have no idea what the hell is going on with her and Jake Paul right <laughs> but that seems like a whole clout chasing situation in and of itself but it seems like it's mutual rather than the deception that Brad Sosa did but anyways the bulk of this video, I want to talk about the editor, Otto and Brad. And when this video was requested by a few people, um, I debated on doing it because I have opinions that some of you might not agree with. And that's, that's one of the difficult parts about doing like commentary and things like that. Like you could either go with 
you know, uh, the masses, right? Like with what everybody is, you know, thinking and believing and whose side they're on right now and everything. But if you speak kind of what your opinions are and if it goes against that, it might hurt you. But anyways, I really just before I dive into that, I want you all to think like all of the adults out there who have ever had any type of job in your life. Before I move forward, I just want you to ask yourself one question. Would you ever get away with what Otto just did to Brad Sosa? Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Brad Sosa is not a good dude. But when we when we have this, this thirst for revenge, it can make us do things that hurt us as well. Like, let's just kind of run down the list real quick. First off, Otto took Brad Sosa's plaque, right? Because Otto feels that he didn't deserve it and stuff. And like, that is all subjective. But if we look at this as adults, like that is theft, okay? The other thing that I was looking at was just like kind of the immaturity of the video. And I know the audience is just loving it and eating it up. Like I got some chuckles in there too. Otto is a funny dude. But from a professional standpoint, I'm like, ugh, this might not be a good look. Because here's the thing, like what I was thinking most of the time while watching that video, because Otto was talking about how Brad Sosa is probably not gonna be able to, you know, work with any major brands or anything like that again in the future, partially because of this huge exposed video that he just made on Brad. But I'm sitting there and I'm asking myself too, I'm like, all right, well, is anybody going to work with Otto in the future? Like, if this is one of his biggest videos, right, and his claim to fame, how many other creators are going to want to work with him seeing what he just did? Now, don't get me wrong. This dude, Otto, like, holy crap. He is one of the one of the best editors I've ever seen. Like, I, I suck at editing. That's why my videos are very minimal when it comes to editing. But, like, for his style and the effort he puts in, like, the dude is phenomenal. But... I'm kind of looking at this not only as somebody who's been an employee, but as somebody like I have my editor, Zach, you know, who edits for me sometimes. He edits my audio books. He's edited some videos for me in the past and stuff. But like if for some reason, Zach, you know, just left and said, hey, you need to find a new editor when you need one. Like if I was looking at auto, I'd be like, uh, would I want to work with this guy? Right. So. When all of you are watching this, like even though everybody's getting some yucks in and laughing, you know, at the expense of Brad Sosa, like ask yourself if you would be able to get away with what Otto just did, because I'm thinking about Otto in the future and what issues he may run into. So something that he brings up is Gary Vaynerchuk's book, Jab, 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 Right Hook. And some of you know me, like I am a huge fan of Gary Vaynerchuk. I got to speak with him last year at uh, Vid Summit and everything like that. I love that dude. So like Otto explains, jab, 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 right hook, it's keep providing value and then ask, right? Like provide so much value that you, you know, you're not just trying to get something from the other person. And something that's like this kind of, uh, you know, there's some debate around it is like working for free. So when I look at Otto's situation, he he brings up multiple times that he offered to work for Brad for free, right? But when things went sideways and Otto felt, you know, entitled to some compensation and everything, um, I get what he's saying about the the um, the music that he used and that account. Like, I do think he should be reimbursed for that. But what I'm getting at is anytime Otto goes to you know, try to do work for free just for exposure or for experience in the future, whatever creator he works with is gonna have to ask like, is this guy only gonna work for me for free and then eventually get upset and try to expose me because I wasn't paying him even though he offered to work for me for free? And this is something like, I don't think Otto's a bad dude. Like the fact, like he seems like he is somebody on this path to try to improve himself. And I, I love that. I love when anybody does that. It's something that I'm trying to do all the time as well. Like I am not a perfect person, but like I say, like I always watch these videos and I try to learn from them, right? But when I'm watching Otto, like since I'm, you know, I, I, I watch a lot of Gary Vaynerchuk, I've read all of his books and everything like that. Sometimes I feel, and this is just my opinion, that people kind of take 
they kind of cherry pick certain advice from Gary Vaynerchuk. Like when I was watching Otto's video and then when I saw that he's a fan of Gary V, I'm like, would Otto think that Gary Vaynerchuk would endorse this idea to expose Brad Sosa and, and do this? Like the answer probably is no. And this is something that I ask myself, like we all should have mentors in our life, but some of them, you know, some of us have mentors like Gary Vee. Like, I don't talk to Gary Vee. I met him at Vid Summit. I got to ask him a question during his Q&A. That was it, right? But sometimes I have to sit back and ask myself and say, what would this person do in this situation? You see what I mean? But the other thing is, too, with everything that Otto just exposed and leaked, like private DMs and all these other things, Anybody who considers working with Otto in the future is going to have to ask themselves, is this guy going to leak private information if I upset him, right? And nobody wants to enter in a relationship where you already feel like you're being held hostage. And again, Otto's editing skills are insanely good, but is it worth the risk that if you potentially piss this guy off, he's going to release a bunch of of private information. So I know that as part of like the YouTube community and spilling tea and all this other stuff, like we're all like sitting back and having a good time watching the, the video he just created. But again, I want you to kind of adapt this to your real life and think about if you would ever get away with this, right? So like just my final thoughts, hopefully somebody like Tana Mojo <laughs> hires Otto but I, can, I can't really imagine too many like reputable people working with Otto for a little while um, until this, this whole thing blows over. Like the dude, has, the dude has amazing skills that he could work with some really big YouTubers. But again, a bunch of big YouTubers are gonna have to worry about something like this happening to them. And again, I'm not trying to defend Brad Sosa. Like, did he deserve it? Probably, you know, hopefully Brad, you know, shapes up and learns from this. And, Quits being so scummy, right? But I am concerned about auto because that dude has skills. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. Don't forget, my brand new book, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, is out now, and you can get a free version of the ebook until the end of the month. So you got about, what, six, six days, I think? Yeah, so go check it out in the description, in the pinned comment down below. All right, but that's all I got. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel in other ways, like getting my, my books, my merch, and all that other kind of stuff. I love you. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.